Hello and welcome to this Excel and Dataverse video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to import tables from Excel and PDF into the Dataverse. So let's get started. This is going to be the second video for today. In the first video released, I talked about how to import table stored in the Dataverse using the new Dataverse connector in the Excel desktop so let's see this new video now this new video is coming as a request from our good friend Ivan Cortinas who having watched the first video requested how do we load excel tables into the database now i'm going to answer the question in this new second video and even take it further by talking about how to even upload or load tables from another connector such as the pdf so let's dive in now if you have not subscribed to this channel you can do so and turn on the bell icon to get notification so let's say the data say want to load into the dataverse now in the onedrive i have this 2020 sales which i have opened in excel online okay we have the date column the payment brand and the sales amount columns now this is going to be a record for year 2020 now, in the pdf here we have the same number of columns okay dates payment the brand and the sales amount and this is going to be for year 2021 so we're going to get it from excel and pdf and then we use the append in the power query online to append and then we load it into the table we're going to create in the database so let's start from the beginning so i'm going to come to the power apps here okay now under the database i need to create you know table so we have this new table so i'm going to click on that and then i need to give name for my table and then i need to provide a primary column so for the display name i'm going to call it my transaction okay and then for the primary column tab i'm going to choose i'm going to call this one date okay so click on save our table my transaction has been created under the database so what i'm going to do next is to create columns so that we're able to map the column from the database into the columns that is coming from the power query having appended the data from excel and p so to create our columns in the data of us i'm going to click on this new and choose under the schema we have column relationship case so i'm going to choose column now don't forget we have created the first column by using the date as the primary column so i'm going to skip that now i'm going to move to payment brand and the sales amount columns to be created so come back to the Dataverse, and then under the new column for the display name, I'm going to call this one payment. And then I need to choose the data type again. Okay? Now it's going to be a text, so I'm going to just click on save. Okay, so the next column I'm going to create is the brand column. So click on the new, I want to choose column again, and then I'm going to call this one you know, brand, and of course. It's going to contain text data type. So single line of text is fine. Okay. So click on. So we need to create the final column, which is going to be sales amount column. So again, I'm going to choose new and choose column. And I'm going to call this one sales amount column. Now this is going to contain, you know, numbers. And we actually want to use currency data type so i'm going to choose the currency here click on this drop down i'm going to choose currency and then we have the behavior which is simple so i'm going to click on save all right all right so we have created all our columns so that we can easily map the column with the corresponding columns from excel and pdf file now let's go ahead and do the real thing which is to import the data from excel and from pdf import and then i'm going to choose import data i can actually even import from excel but i'm not going to use that method because it's going to load through the system but i actually want to import on one drive okay so we can choose the data source okay we have so many connectors here we have the database access 
and so many okay but let's just go through the one we need now in no particular order you can actually import excel force or even pdf force that's not a problem but let's do excel so i'm going to click on this excel workbook all right now in this connect to data source we can actually connect through linked to file or you can even upload directly from here but since the data is already in my one drive i'm going to use the link to file for this first import so having selected this i'm going to click on browse one drive now in the browse one drive i can actually point to this 2026.xlsx so that is actually under my document so i choose the document and then i search for the excel workbook which is this 2026.xlsx and then i'm going to choose select and then i'm going to choose next okay so this is going to open the what's called navigator okay in the excel for the desktop so you can actually see the tables and the sheets now this is actually the table we are interested which is named fcs data and we can see the preview to the right so what i'm going to do is to click on next so we have successfully get the data stored in the excel for the web into the power query editor in the online version so we can see we have the same number of columns the date payment brand and the sales amount columns and just like in the excel for the desktop we have the applied step here okay the source the navigation and the change to column types okay so let's go ahead and get the report or the data in the pdf now to do that in the home tab of the power query here click on get data now we can see the pdf here so i'm going to choose more option then having done that we can actually see the pdf here so i'm going to click on it click on pdf and then of course you can also get it from the link to file just like we did in excel or you can even upload file okay now i actually going to upload the file from my laptop so choose upload file and then i'm going to browse to the location so let me call, let me just search for the name 2021 so we have it here 2021 sales pdf.pdf .pdf. so i can click on open and that's going to upload and then we can click on next to open the data in the power query so click on next so in the choose data dialog box here I can actually point to the specific table that is coming from the pdf so this is actually the table and then we can click on we can see the preview and then click on create and that will automatically create the second query in the power query editor so we can actually see the first one which is fc's data that came from excel and the second one is the table 001 that is coming from the pdf so we have the two queries and this is lovely it's awesome now what i'm going to do next is to append that is to take the any one of it upon, on top of each other so to do that in the home tab of the power query here in the combined group to the right of the screen we have the merge and append queries so i'm going to click on this little icon below the append queries and choose append queries as new okay so we can actually select the tables now we have two tables so this is fine so the first table is going to be this come from pdf and the second will definitely be f sales data and then we click on okay so in this intermediate step we can see this evaluation was cancelled because combining data from multiple sources may reveal data from one source to another click continue if the possibility of revealing data is okay and of course it's okay for us so i'm going to click on continue and then we have the final output we can see that the data has been appended okay so we can even check the date we're going to see year 2020 and year 2021 so this is lovely so what i'm going to do next is to click on next so in the load settings just like in excel we have the import 
wizard okay so you can actually load to a new table or load to the existing table or do not load now this is just like what is called only create connection okay but we actually want to load to the existing table that is coming from the database which is my transaction table we created some few moments however i actually need this appended query only i could have actually renamed it but that's no problem so i want this i'm going to select this query not this first and the second one i need this so i'm going to choose load to existing table so let's choose here yeah. so i'm going to point to the particular table that we actually want to load to so which is this cr474 underscore my transaction now this is where the column mapping comes in okay you remember that we have actually created some columns under the my transaction table earlier on under the data verse. so let's go ahead and map to the corresponding columns based on this append data so this actually brand so i'm going to choose this drop down and carefully choose brand okay and for this date which is our primary column from the data verse table i'm going to choose date and for the payments, I'm going to choose the corresponding payment we created. And for the sales amount column, I'm going to choose the sales amount that we created. And that is all. This is simply what is called column mapping. So I'm going to click choose next. Okay, so in this refresh settings, we can actually choose refresh manually or automatically. So manually is fine by her. So the next big thing is to publish now. So I'm going to choose this icon. Now I can actually publish later. That's fine. But we want to publish now, okay, into the data flows. So go ahead and click on publish now. All right. So we expect the publish, you know, to reflect under the data flow in a moment. Now let's check it out. So I'm going to come to data flows here. And of course, I have some you know flows earlier on. Okay, so these are the two established one. Now you can see the one we just did now, which is new data flow five. Now it is published in progress. So I'm gonna wait for this for some few seconds. Okay, so we can see that our flow has successfully been published, and this is a job well done. Now, having done that, let's go back to the you know, tables, see the columns in our my transaction table in our data verse. So to do that, we come to the data experiences and then under this, we have the views. We want to view the columns and then we have this active my transaction. So double click that and then in the view environment, we can pick any columns we actually want to see okay so we have millions of columns so we have the date which is our primary column so this automatically comes up and then we can pick the brand just click on it and then we have it available and we can even pick the um, payment column we can pick the sales amount column we can even minimize this active transaction tax pin here so let's close this and we can even reorder the columns. Okay, let's this right here. This created. Okay, let's move it here. So we have the date, the brand, the payments, and the, the sales amount columns. And the beauty of the whole thing is that we have records for 2021, we have for 2020. So we've been able to successfully import our data from Excel and PDF into the database. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel because there's a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.